Alright, what's going on everyone? It's John here, and today I bring you guys another World War II commentary, and as you guys can see, I'm gonna be playing in the new game mode, which just came out today, which is called the Throwback Mosh Pit, or Throwback Playlist. For those of you guys that don't know, the Throwback Playlist is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically like a throwback to the older perks that used to be in older Call of Duties, and this time they added some of these old perks to World War II. So as you guys can see, these are obviously located here in the basic trainings, but there's two tabs now. There's the base tab, and there's the throwback tab, and this is where you're gonna find all the old school perks. So we have Danger Clothes, Commando Pro, Double Tab, Martyrdom, Stun Times 3, Stopping Power, and Juggernaut. If you guys are OG Call of Duty fans and you used to play Call of Duty like back, 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 back then, then you guys will remember most of these perks. Now this is the second time they add back this playlist. The first time was like, I think three months ago or something like that. And I was gonna make a video on this like a while back uh, when this first came out, but I did not know that they were gonna take it off like after two or three days and I actually waited a little bit to make a video on this. So yeah, once I was gonna make a video on it, they took it off. But now that they brought it back, I'm over here making a video on it now this time they added something that used to be in older call of duties because the first time they added it they didn't have this feature right here it's still the same thing as before you know it still has the old perks and still has the same functions but what they decided to do this time is only for the throwback playlist whenever you play and you get score streaks or kill streaks every kill that you get with a kill streak will actually count towards getting even more kill streaks so what that basically means is let's say you get a glide bomb and you're like two or three kills away from a firebombing run if you get those three kills that you need for that that firebombing run with the glide bomb then you're actually gonna get the firebombing run another example let's say you get paratroopers and you're like two or three kills away from getting a ball turret gunner if your paratroopers end up getting two or three or however many kills you need for that ball turret gunner then you're actually gonna get it so in other words every kill you get with a kill streak it counts towards the kills you need for another kill streak so yeah guys if you were to get a carpet bombing paratroopers ball turret gunner all of those in one game then you're just gonna be dropping a lot of kills and the even crazier thing is that the throwback playlist is double xp for the whole weekend and by the way the throwback playlist in general is gonna stay for the whole weekend so friday to monday at 10 a.m pacific center time if you guys want to rank up a lot maybe like 10 times or more in a day then this is the game mode to go to right now because again you know just put in ball turret gunners paratroopers all those kinds of kill streaks are really powerful just keep getting kills with them and you'll be earning more and more kill streaks and you know the more you earn then you're just gonna keep on getting more kills and you know that's gonna be a ton of xp at the end of a match and also guys before i set up a match i want to let you guys know that the resistance event collections are actually open for this weekend as well last week we had the winter siege event uh collections open for like the whole weekend and this week now we have the resistance open and as you guys can see i collected already four items because all four of these were already done but all i needed to do was collect them so for those of you guys that have collections that are completed for the resistance event but you guys weren't able to collect them because you know the resistance event was locked and locked all the collections and now is your time to go ahead and collect them because uh it's open and also if you guys did not get the nine millimeter sap infield number two rex revolver the volkstrom gewehr anything like that you could go ahead and do it right now but keep in mind that this is only going to be open for this weekend so yeah make sure to take advantage of that and i'm actually seeing a little pattern from this because last week we had the winter siege event and now we have the resistance event for this week so i'm guessing that next week we're going to get the blitzkrieg event and then we're going to get the undead event and then the liberty strike event again oh wait sorry guys i take that back i think next week we're going to be getting the shamrock and Naw collections open because i forgot that you know we had two items for the shamrock Shamrock and on. I don't know why they named the special. They should have just named the Shamrock and on. But I'm pretty sure that the Shamrock and all collections will be open next week because this event came after the Resistance event, which is open for this week. And this is a class that I'm going to be running for the throwback playlist because uh, last time they added the throwback playlist, or I should say the first time they added it, I was using stopping power because it increases your bullet damage. So I was having fun with that because uh, I wasn't getting any hit markers with the Car 98K or any other sniper. And uh, same thing with like other guns, you will kill people faster. This time I'm going to be using Commander Pro because I want to try out the knifing on here with commander pro because i you know obviously the melee range increases and you can get kills faster and more easier with melee weapons but just so you guys know all of these perks are only available for the throwback playlist so if you were to try and use uh one of these perks for like tdm domination kill confirm war anything but the throwback playlist it's not gonna work it's just gonna act like you're playing with no basic training all right guys now that i cleared all that up i'm gonna go ahead and start up a match so here we go damn guys time has not just been going by it's been flying by like we're already one week away from from the multiplayer beta for black ops 4 and by the way at the moment i'm recording this video it's friday so next week on friday is going to be the start of the multiplayer beta for black ops 4 and just so you guys know i'll most likely be live streaming the beta for black ops 4 next week but i haven't created black ops 4 yet but hopefully by next week i'll have the pre-order so you know i can live stream it for you guys 
Oh my goodness, do I love this. Now, this is gonna feel kind of weird though, you know, moving from World War II to Black Ops 4 because I'm really used to World War II right now and uh, the 100 health and all that. And the reason I say that is because Black Ops 4 is gonna be changing a lot. It's gonna be 150 health now and the health regeneration system is gonna be completely changing as well. You're not gonna be regenerating health on your own anymore where like, you know, you're red screen and then you just start healing by yourself. You're actually gonna have to heal yourself manually this time. And the way you're gonna heal yourself now is by using like an adrenaline or something like that. And also it's not gonna be 6v6 anymore. It's gonna be 5v5. So there's a lot of things that are, are gonna be changing for Black Ops 4. And you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna take a little while to get used to. But I just hope that it isn't like super, super different compared to all these other Call of Duties because I still like the old school mechanic where, you know, it's just 100 health, you regenerate by yourself. And also kills and deaths are shown in the scoreboard, which I forgot to mention that on BO4, uh, kills and deaths are gonna be taken off the scoreboard. So what that basically means is you're not gonna be able to know how many kills you got in that game or how many deaths you got in that game. The only thing you're gonna know is your score and maybe assists. And I think you're also gonna be able to know how many uh, captures and defense you got for like domination or any other objective game modes. But I am pretty hyped though guys. I am really hyped to try out the beta for Black Ops 4. You know, I really wanna see how it's gonna feel playing Black Ops 4 because it will feel a lot different than the previous Call of Duties. And I also hope that BO4's beta does really well because this beta right here is gonna determine whether people like the multiplayer or not. And from what I'm hearing, I heard that if you reach the max rank on the multiplayer beta for Black Ops 4, which I'm not sure yet what the max rank will be, it's probably gonna be like 30, 40 or something. It won't be like 55 because every beta has had a max rank of like 30 or 40. So yeah, it shouldn't be that long. But I heard that if you reach the max rank in the beta, you're gonna get like a permanent unlock token when the full game releases. And you're gonna be able to use this for, I guess, any weapon. So that's a pretty cool thing. And guys, look at that. 42 and 18, man. Let's get it, bro. That was a good game. And it was also on E. Egypt, which for those of you guys that don't know I really hate Egypt because like I mean it's a good looking map it's a really nice map but I just don't like the flow of it like when you go and play into this map I just I don't really do well damn guys all these game modes that Sledgehammer Games has added to World War 2 like for example the throwback mosh pit playlist I really hope Treyarch is taking note of this and you know they'll do the same thing and they'll add maybe even more because all these game modes really do make the game a lot more fun and to me even without these game modes World War 2 is a lot of fun to me in my opinion and for them to be adding all these cool game modes makes it even more fun Oh my goodness, dude. I don't know how I didn't kill him before right there, but oh well. Oh yeah, speaking about game modes being added to World War 2, they're actually gonna be adding back the Leprechaun game mode. Sledgehammer Games mentioned this in their blog post today or their live stream that, you know, they're starting to do every Friday. And they also gave us another sneak peek on more Master Prestige rewards for level 400s and 600s. Now, I'm not sure yet if every reward is gonna be an outfit and a camel because at the moment, it's looking to be like that. For Master Prestige players that are level 400, they're gonna be getting another camel and outfit just like the level 1000 players are going to be getting. And I'm not sure if this camel will be animated. I think it is going to be. And then for level 600, so they're also going to be getting another camel and another outfit. But this camel is confirmed to be animated. And I'm not going to lie, this camel is really nice. It's called Ice Tiger or something like that. And I'm so glad that the Ice Tiger camel looks really nice because that's for level 600 players. And I'm almost level 600, as you guys can see. I'm level 533. So I'm about, I think, six, 67 levels away from 600. So yeah, once I hit level 600, I'm going to be getting this Ice Tiger camel that's animated and the outfit and just so you guys know it's not in the game yet they're in the game files but they're just not in the game yet they said that they're gonna be releasing these uh master procedure rewards in the next big title update which i'm not sure yet when that will be but oh no oh, this guy got lucky and another thing i want to talk about is the iron Curtain 2 which is a heroic variant for the ppsh but this variant is really nice like it's beautiful and a lot of people wanted to come to the game already and a lot of people have been thinking that it's going to be available for like master prestige players only but that's actually not the case in fact everybody is gonna get the Iron Curtain 2 or I should say everyone is gonna have the ability to get the Iron Curtain 2 now there's one bad thing about this and I mean for those of you guys that are not gonna try out the beta for BO4 then this shouldn't really affect you but for people that are gonna try out the beta for BO4 the Iron Curtain 2 is gonna be coming next Saturday as a contract so all you have to do is just activate the contract and I heard that you have to like get I think like 225 or 250 submachine gun kills nope sit down sit down, oh, sit down. No, no, no! Woo! 
Ah. Oh. So yeah, you have to get like 250 or 250 something kills with SMGs. And then after you do that, that's it. You get the Iron Curtain too. And you know, you don't even have to pay money for it. You don't even have to unlock it from a supply drop. All you gotta do is just purchase the contract, which will most likely cost maybe 4,000 or 5,000 armory credits and complete it. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Although I don't really use red guns on this game. I mostly use snipers because you know, I'm more of a sniper on this game than a red gun user. I'm still gonna be giving the PPSH, the Iron Curtain 2 a try because this variant is beautiful. And again, the reason I said that this is kind of like a bad time to release the Iron Curtain 2 is because we're, it's going to be during the BO4 beta. This contract is going to be available for everybody uh, starting next Saturday and also the Saturday after that, so two weeks. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty hyped for everything that's going to be coming to World War II as well, along with BO4. I mean, man, there's just so many things that we're going to be uh, getting. There you go, there you go. All right, come up. There you go. Here's oh, I'm dead. Oh, there you go. Let's get it. Oh, I didn't really do as good as the last game, but I nah, still did pretty good, I guess. Damn, bro. I really love Commando Pro. And I think I ranked up. Yup. Let's get it. So, yeah. If you guys are trying to rank up really fast this weekend, then there you guys have it. Just play some throwback, and you guys will rank up really fast since it's double XP. And it's a lot of fun as well. You get a lot of kills, especially if you get uh, kill streaks. Anyways, guys. Now that I played some throwback and got some good gameplay for you guys, and also talked about all these things that are going to be coming, you know, soon and next week. Like, for example, the Black Ops 4 beta, Master procedure rewards the iron curtain 2 which is one that i'm actually excited for even though i don't use red guns i'm gonna go ahead and end out this video so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you guys haven't already turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time whenever i upload and also if i forgot to talk about anything regarding master prestige rewards the black ops 4 beta make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below and also if you guys have any questions go ahead and do that as well let me know what you guys think about the throwback game mode honestly me as you guys already heard it from me i think it's a lot of fun it's a really good way to rank up especially right now since it's double xp i really wish it was permanent and i like the idea of just you know keeping these perks in only one game mode not for like every other game mode like team deathmatch war domination kill confirm etc and before i end this off thank you guys so much for all the recent support on the live streams the normal videos basically every video you guys seem to be enjoying the live streams a lot and i'll for sure be live streaming a lot more especially on the black ops 4 beta next week and don't worry guys i still have a lot of video ideas coming for world war 2 i'm still gonna be uploading a lot on world war 2 grinding out a lot on world war 2 before black ops 4 comes out so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you guys were thinking that i'm already kind of done with world war 2 and i'm just waiting for bo 4 to come out no i'm not done with world war 2 yet i'm still into it and like i said earlier that it's gonna feel weird going to bo 4 because i'm just so used to world war 2 right now anyways hope you guys have a nice saturday and with all that being said it's been john and i'm out peace